Greetings to all present. I am Sergei Dovakolov, a first year graduate student at the National University of Construction and Architecture. And I would also like to introduce the co authors of the research, namely Tatiana Goncharenko, Alexander Terentiev, Konstantin Pridun, and Andrei Rosinsky. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are glad to present you a report on information system of multi stage analysis of the building of object models on a construction site. This study proposes a multi-stage approach to building object models on construction sites to develop an evolutionary digital twin. It integrates building information modeling and artificial intelligence technology and discusses the potential for using IOT technology and big data. The study presents an extensive AI system that combines convolutional neural network and fit for neural network uh, architectures to detect, categorize and evaluate BIM projects uh, through their life cycle. It also addresses scalability prospects uh, for point cloud and mesh models. This study determines the effectiveness of prospects for point clouds and mesh models, construction sites conformance detection during BIM model construction, providing consistency and quantitative evaluation and of the construction sites processes. The results of this research can be used uh, to improve BIM modeling methods and concepts uh, leading to a multi-stage representation of the construction sites digital twin. In the presented system, figure shows a SFM and IOT cameras are employed to create 3D projections of construction objects uh, leading to the production of BOMs, uh, mesh models and point clouds at different levels of detail. In the presentation we can observe two techniques uh, for photomodeling, namely static photomodeling and dynamic photomodeling. My figure illustrates the static photomodeling approach which involves installing fixed cameras uh, that remain in operational throws the end observation period. In contrast, dynamic photomodeling requires fewer cameras and involves capturing images while in motion at specific time intervals. In this slide we can see the processes of building object models using photomodeling and structure from motion. And thus, within the framework of the study, we have the opportunity to extract information from panoramic photos or photo sequences and model on their basis point cloud, mesh models and BOMs of varying degrees of detail based on the project requirements using photomodeling and SFM, which is based on the AGSoft Photoscan software. Geometric forms are replicated with varying degrees or of detail during photomodeling, approximately one point for every five centimeter of real size. As part of the project, 600 visualizations of POM's construction segments were conducted at various stages of the construction processes and for different objects forming the learning and training datasets for the study. Figure shows one of the BOM construction fragments on a real-world example of uh, a building object with serial number 5. A dataset uh, of 600 complete images of the building object was created as part of the study's framework. The artificial intelligence system recognize diverse construction sites and their resulting models before determining their resemblance and compliance with the defined standards. Uh, following um, the development of the models, they were manually taken for additional training. Given the YOLO versus 5 models excellent performance as the fastest and most successful model in the YOLO Yellow family. It was chosen for the categorization of building items and their derivative models. Experiment results showed that uh, 100 iterations of training took no more than 8 minutes of real time. The evaluation metrics chosen were average precision is the average accuracy for a given class and mean average precision MAP. Uh, 
uh, the average accuracy for all classes. The value of uh, the average precision of the point clouds, mesh models, uh, BOMs, general average precision and mean average precision are determined by equations uh, in the figure. The next figure shows visualization of the mathematical processes about the derivatives uh, of the building objects during their classification. The following libraries and software were used in the study Python, NumPy, Keras, TensorFlow, PyTorch, JSON, Pandas, CUDA, and OpenCV. The Yellow vs. Fire model is trained in the ratio of 80% of the of training images and 20% of test images. Images were separated according to the stage of development of simple building things. Uh, table 1 shows the training parameters for the Yellow vs. Fire model. Comparison according to the fit for all neural network uh, models should be performed when uh, certain standards are defined. The artificial limits uh, that the standard must take into account are shown in the table 2. Uh, this study determines the effectiveness of detecting uh, site conformance during the step-by-step -step construction of a beam modeling model uh, providing consistency and a quantitative assessment of the construction processes. The results can enhance uh, BIM modeling methods and concepts uh, specifically towards an evolutionary representation of the digital twin of the construction sites. The Yolo vs. Fire model had a fast learning processes, uh, process, uh, 42 minutes for uh, 512 iterations and achieved a mean average precision MAP of uh, 0.73 while also classifying building objects uh, by class and derivative models. The fit for all neural network model was evaluated for establishing a quality standard which can be applied to each stage of building object development individually. Examples uh, of the finding and classification results are shown in the table 3 and table Four. Table 3 shows the generalized YOLO versus 5 classification results by building objects. The indicators range from 0 to 1 and are pre-normalized. Uh, and the table 4 shows the, how the fit for all neural network model works regarding the standards uh, given by the customer based on the building objects. The indicates ranged from 0 to 1 and are pre-normalized too. As a result, the acquired um, values demonstrate the conformity of classified architectural objects and their derivatives models to the required requirements. Uh, in summary, this study showcases the potential of using AI and BIM technology for multi-stage modeling of uh, building site objects. The YOLO vs. 5 model demonstrates impressive performance with fast learning and high mean average precision. The model classified building object class and derivative models including point cloud, mesh model and BOM. The fit for all neural network model was used to establish, in, establish quality standard based on general indicators for each stage of building objects development. Uh, the comparison of model and, uh, models and standards showed high conformity 0 0.92 to 1.00, for example, number 5, indicating the accuracy of the information system model. This research also presents two options for photomodeling setup, uh, static and dynamic, which can pave the way for integrating innovative AR technology, LIDAR photomodeling technology and cloud storage to handle big data and enhance project efficiency. Thank you for your attention.